Hello everyone, welcome back to ATP Creative Corner. In today's video, I'll be making this portly handbag. I have used silk material to make this handbag so that it goes well with my silk sarees. But you can also use printed cotton or even your old jeans to make this bag. Okay, now let's get right into the tutorial. Here, I have taken two pieces of the main fabric with dimensions 12 inches across 10 inches and two pieces of the lining fabric with same dimension 12 inches across 10 inches. First, I will keep the main fabric one on top of the other like this with its right sides facing each other. Now, I'll mark a point 2 inches from top and another point 1 inches from that point like this. Similarly on the other side I'll mark a point at 2 inches and another point at 1 inches from that point like this. Now I'll give a stitch from the top and I'll keep the 1 inch space unstitched. Again I'll start stitching from this point until I reach this point. Again I'll keep the 1 inch space unstitched and stitch this part. Now it's done. And this space is to insert the string. Next I'm going to spread one of the corners like this. Such that the seams are one on top of the other. And mark a point 1 inch from the corners. I'll give a straight stitch along this line. I'll repeat the same step on the other corner as well. This step gives a wide bottom for the bag. For the handle, I have taken two pieces of elastic of one inch width and length is 13 inches and I have taken two fabric strips of width 3 inches and length 26 inches that is the length of the fabric strip should be twice the length of the elastic to begin the handle I am going to fold the strip in half with its right sides facing each other like this and give a straight stitch now it's done. With the help of safety pin, I'm going to turn the right side of the fabric outwards. Now with the help of the safety pin, I'll insert the elastic into the tube like this. Now I'll give straight stitch at the ends like this. Once done, I'm going to pull the elastic 
such that the fabric is equally distributed on the elastic. I'm going to do the same thing for the other handle as well. Now I'll pull the right side of the bag outwards. Next I'm going to mark a point 1.5 inches from the center like this. I'll do it on both the sides. This is where I'm going to sew the handles. Now I'll place one end of the handle towards the left side of the first point like this. I'll place the other end of the handle towards the right side of the other point. I'll repeat the same step for the other handle as well. I'll give a straight stitch here. Now the outer portion of the bag is complete. For the lining, I'll keep the materials one on top of the other like this with its right sides facing each other. I'll give a straight stitch along this line leaving 3 inches gap at the bottom. And again I'll stitch along this line. It will look something like this. Here you can see 3 inch space here. Now I'll repeat the same steps that I had done on the main fabric. I'll mark a point 1 inch from the corner like this. Draw a line and give a stitch along this line. I'll repeat the same step for the other corner as well. Now it's done. Now I am going to trim this part leaving 1 cm of the fabric from the seam like this. Now I will insert the outer back into the lining part such that their right sides are facing each other like this. Here you can see the wrong side of the lining is facing outwards. Make sure that the seams are one on top of the other like this. I am using sieving clips for that. Now I'll give a stitch here such that the lining and the outer back are joined together. Now it's done. It will look something like this. Now from this 3 inch space I'm going to pull the right side of the bag outwards like this.
you can see here all the raw edges are pushed inside now I'll sew this space by giving a straight stitch here now it's done I'll push the lining part inside the bag like this I'll give a top stitch here now it's done now these are the one inch space that we have made here I'm drawing two lines such that the first line joins the beginning of the gap and the second line joins the end of the gap Now I am going to give a straight stitch along these lines. Once done it will look like this. Next to make the string I have taken two strips whose width is 1 inches and length is 22 inches I am going to fold the strip in half with its right sides facing each other like this and give a straight stitch I'll repeat the same for the other strip as well now with the help of a safety pin I am going to turn the right side of the fabric outwards Now the strings are ready. Now with the help of a safety pin I am going to insert one of the string from this gap. I am going to push the safety pin further like this. until I remove the string from the same gap now I'll insert the other string from the other gap like this I'll push the safety pin further until I remove the string from the same gap Now to seal the raw edges of the strings, I have taken 4 square pieces of 4 inch dimension. Next I am going to fold one of those squares diagonally like this to form a triangle and I will place the string at the center like this and fold it again to form a smaller triangle like this such that the string is sandwiched between the triangle and give a straight stitch on this side once done it will look something like this
Now I will pull this triangle downwards like this such that it forms a bell shape at the end of the string. You can trim off this excess fabric here. Now I will repeat the same for all the other ends of the string. And our portly handbag is ready. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button to get an update on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in my next one. Bye.